Hey YouTubers, this is Lonnie Clark, Nuts for Art. I know it's been a long time, but I could not make a video about, I could not not make a video about this. Uh, can we believe this? This is a plan for death. Has anybody seen this story? It was reported June 7th. I just posted it yesterday to my Facebook page. I found it. EPA pushing hike of radioactive contamination and drinking water. What this is saying is that if we have a Fukushima meltdown, uh, say Hanford blows up, or we have a dirty bomb attack, like in New York, which I think is going to happen this, I think before the election is out, I think we're going to have something like that happen. Uh, as we know, uh, the oligarchs are have declared war against the American people, so I think it's coming. So the REPA, every polluter's advocate, is saying this. Uh, what did they do? It states that it expects the responsible parties will take action to return the compliance to the Safe Drinking Water Act maximum contaminant levels as soon as practical. But during the indefinite time, the general population may be exposed to iodine-131 at 10,350 picocuries a 3,450 times increase, 8 picocuries per liter of strontium-90, which is a 925 increase. In an attempt to shield sensitive populations, the plan proposes 500 milligrams per year for the general population, but only 100 milligrams for children under 15 pregnant and nursing mothers. It, without explaining how these latter groups will get to access less contaminated water, water. Wow. Given this monstrous proposal, it is unclear what lessons the EPA learned from the contaminated water calamity in Flint, Michigan. Flint, Michigan? Let's talk about St. Louis, folks. What are the people in St. Louis drinking? You think their water isn't off the frickin' charts? This is outrageous. Internal EPA documents in obtained. Now, we had to obtain them through the Freedom of Information Act. Brought by Peer shows the EPA itself concluded concentrations would exceed maximum contaminated limits for safe drinking waters by a factor of a hundred, a thousand, and in two instances, seven million. Let that sink in. The internal anal analysis estimated for one radionuclide that only one small glass of water would result in the exposure that corresponds to a lifetime of drinking liters of day. Wow. The Bush administration in its last days unsuccessfully tried to put forward similar proposals with the incoming, which the incoming Obama administration pulled back. Now in the waning months of the Obama administration, those plans are moving forward with new exposure limits higher. This is, this is Obama's legacy. He's going to be more of a prick than Bush. Higher than the Bush plan it had rejected. Obama goes to Hiroshima to urge a nuclear-free world while his EPA facilitates a nuclear-ridden water supply. Uh, it speaks volumes that the current Obama drinking plan is less protective than his predecessors. So definitely, folks, I think we really need to annoy the EPA. I, did, I wanted to give you their number. Uh, I went on there and actually... They suck. You cannot look at where we end up going here. You're, I'm trying to find, uh, let's just say contact. Watch this. I'm going to scroll down. You'll see. This is the complete mind, you know. I'm not going to cuss because my friend Mary is very upset with me because I cuss all the time. But hold on. Let me just see if I can get this thing going on. So let's just type in here contact and see what happens because that's what I did. I was trying to contact them to give you the number. Contact. Sorry, I'm holding one hand up and trying to point my camera at the computer still. Definitely not so easy. No results. No results. Oh, my stupid. This is my, I'm on my work computer and so check this out. We keep getting this. So can you contact them? Contact the EPA. Let's see what this says. Okay. 
Here we go. Forms. They want us to fill out a form. Tell us who it is. We cannot call them. Submit a Freedom of Information Act request. Maybe that's what we need to do. Find a mailing address. Comment on EPA regulations. That's what we get to do. Comment. Uh, okay, they're always open for public comment. So let's see what this guy says. Let's click on this. Comment on our regulations. Access our docket center. Read our regulations. Here they go with the docket centers again. You know, folks, I guess as the people in Flint, Michigan uh, and in uh, St. Louis have learned, when I said that we are assets on a balance sheet, evidently that's the case. The United States government could care less about us. Obama is actually making things a million times worse, folks. Shoot, did you see what happened just now? See that little box? I'm glad somebody saw it. This is who I'm writing, just to let you know this is an insider thing. This is the financial manager for 350.org. And uh, I'm going to write her about this. This came right, can you see this? This came right after, off of the 350, see if we can get it, I don't have my lights on yet, I want it. It's from the 350.org page, hold on, put it up here, yeah, there you go. So 350.org, that's their form 990, from their tax return, 350.org. Look at these donors, 450,000, 200,000, 175, 150, 600, how much more? 250,000. No names, no addresses. So I am writing this person and asking her who they are. Because 350.org is out there telling us that things are actually pretty good with nuclear. We could use it for 10 more years. So we've got to push back and get these people to stop. Uh, I'm shocked. Uh, I, I don't know why I'm shocked, but I am, and I'm embarrassed that I'm actually shocked. I should just be spitting nails. So anyways, put your courage feet on, folks. Take some action. Please take some action. We need everybody in this fight. Take care. Ciao.